Okay, so we have a video today by Mujin how these two vile VTubers lost their careers over now. Now, I did see a little bit about this on Twitter, but I haven't looked like too into it. But I did see like it was like one VTuber essentially just bullying a small streamer because I think of their viewer count or that this Twitch streamer was like verified and then this soon this small streamer wasn't. But um, we'll get into the details by obviously checking the video out. So let's check this out. Absolute cesspool of a website. I think we can all agree on. Yes, it. Twitter but like is. Any other ugh, website, ugh, it does have an ugh. algorithm that tries to find what interests you and pushes it right in your face mm -hmm. to make you stay there yes. longer. Now, yes, I follow a bunch of VTubers. They follow me back. It assumes that I'm interested in VTubers. Right. And you know what? That's fair. I, I mean, clearly, just look at my channel. And thanks to this algorithm, sometimes it'll feel like a coliseum where I'll scroll down on my feed and see two VTubers I've never heard of fight to the yeah, death literally, over yeah. accusations. Yeah. Most of the time, it's very trivial things that can be ignored. It's, yeah. But mm. sometimes there are some ridiculous- I mean, it's the internet, right? I mean, there's a lot of just like trivial, just like dumb bullshit, like, um, quote, you know, arguments or controversies that happen. Ridiculous controversies, and that's exactly what happened in this situation. This involves a partnered streamer with almost 40,000 wow, followers. Wow, yeah, the decently and unlike sized a lot of my streamer. Other videos, there's no need to be neutral here at all because this person's actions are unjustifiable. It's impossible to defend her. She's terrible. Oh, but it wasn't just Baybub, it was also her friends, including it was two other but people? not limited to another partnered streamer That's by fucking the name crazy. of Anten, who is equally, if not more, terrible. This is the standard internet villain story. Two very unlikable people did something uh, bad. They tried to double down I mean, on it. And I mean, the thing is, right? I mean, if you surround just like if you are friends with a horrible person, I mean, obviously that there, there are some instances, of course, when like um, people can be two faced, right? People can sometimes just not sh show their true colors, where somebody could be doing bad things. And you just aren't aware of it. And then so when you realize that, oh, this person's not a good person, you distance yourselves. But there are instances, you know, uh, where there's like a mean girls, you know, sort of shit where it's like bad people sometimes attract other bad people. And this might be an instance of that, you know. Eventually only apologize because they felt forced They'll to. they forced it's to, yeah. hilariously bad. So let's get right into it. So typically, well, when a Twitch image. partner gets banned, the automated oh, account by the name of Streamer Bans will let everyone know Damn. about it. This is exactly what happened on August 10th, 2024. Baybub got banned for the first time on Twitch. But this isn't how the majority of people found out about her being banned. Now, yes, she had made a post saying, I got banned on Twitch for seven days for things I did not do. A did small not, did Dead not by Daylight do. creator got very hostile towards me and my friends who played against him, and he nitpicked lines and made it all that I said it. I'm with my family right now, so I will appeal and get more into this. I'm, I'm so confused, because, like, bitch, like, this is, you streamed this. Like, you, you, you streamed it live, so it's, like, it's recorded. Like, it's, it can be clipped, right? Like, people, people can see it. So I don't understand how you're gonna, like, you know, why somebody would lie, you know, deny, 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 because it's, like, brother, like, it's filmed, okay? If you're lying, you know, people will know because you filmed it. Like, hell, it was, it's on stream, later. The thread does go on and we'll get to it, but most people still didn't find out about this through this tweet. They found out about it by someone quote tweeting this with oh, exactly shit. what she did to the smaller streamer. This was the wow. tweet that most you people- You know what? You know what? You know what? This is, this is, this is sometimes where Twitter can be good, you know? Aware of this saw in their Twitter feed by Spook and Jukes quote tweeting that tweet we just saw from Bub and saying, you desire to be banned. You and Anton Desu are both Twitch partners and you along with your friends shamed a streamer with 700 followers oh because God. you lost a match of Dead by Daylight. You also pulled up his stream while live and all harassed that's, him in that's his chat. That's disgusting. Pathetic. Wow, that's fucked up. Linking a clip 
1 minute 2022 20, seconds up. long. In it, you'll see exactly why she got banned and exactly why she was getting so much hate. Watch, it's crazy. 4K hours and they're streaming this gameplay, bro. I'm so sure nobody is gonna get entertained by this. They're a streamer? Yep. I'm a girl annoying them. What the fuck? Of course he's a white man. I wanna see the chat. I wanna this see the chat. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Why are we being so sad? You, I did not hunt anyone this month. Like, saying I'm gonna go annoy them is such a disgusting thing to say. Well, you're gonna, like, basically har saying you're gonna harass them and, like, Oh my god, he's a white man is such, a, like, a unnecessary, like... It's such a- it's just not a necessary comment, like... Why you no, 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 sit no, no, on no. single gen? Why well, you sit on single gen? There were three fucking gens left on the map, one gen was 99 The Your <laughs> amount of viewers and <laughs> streaming so and you're like bro. this man. I did not hump a single person. Uh -huh, Can you uh -huh. clip me? Link the clip where I hump. Link it. This is I'm not a way to deal fun. with situations whining, like this. Like little bitch and does not want to admit anything they're doing. It's That's got small some behavior. It's okay, it happens. That's why you only have 18 viewers. Yeah, true. It's uh, two partnered streamers in, in a single chat. I, I don't think 18 views is even that bad, but like, ugh. That's why you have 18 viewers. Like, that's like, such like mean girl, like high school behavior. What, what the fuck is wrong with people? It's like, how old is this fucking woman? Like, to like be acting this way and to like, like she thinks that like he has small dick energy. It's like no, bitch. Like you have small dick energy for acting like a child, acting like a fucking teenager, like like acting like a high school mean girl. Like Jesus Christ. The first thing you say is like, oh, of course it's a white guy. I'm like, wow. Don't fucking look in white man. Oh boy. Like it wasn't racist. I just, you know, he looks very privileged, and he uses the way he talks. Ugh, a lot ugh, about how much privilege uh, uh, he white boy. Uh, yeah. ew, what the fuck? Ew, ugh. Ugh, uh, I, like, oh, it's gross to actually peep this. People like this, Jesus Christ. I mean, look, within, like, anything, any context, okay, even he's fucking white, or you're gonna say well, whatever, oh, he has privilege or whatever, the, his race... His gender has absolutely nothing to do with the situation. It was something that happened in game, and they are going and talking about things that have nothing to do with the game to insult and bully him. And it doesn't matter if somebody is white, if they're a man and they have privilege, you're still bringing unnecessary things and punching down on them because of their gender and because of their race, which isn't right to do, regardless if they're fucking white. Even if they're fucking white, it does not mean that what you are saying isn't wrong, or isn't gross, or isn't fucked up. Regardless if they're a man, regardless if they're white, and regardless if they have, you know, privilege, whatever you want to say to quote defend yourselves, in this particular situation, no, like, you are fucking bitches, you are just gross people and bring up things that should have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Ugh. I said that his penis is very small. <laughs> what a bunch of wholesome people. Yeah, right? well, nice people, <laughs> kind people. Let's get into Jesus this mess. Christ. So look, Dead by Daylight's a very popular game. I'm sure you know how it works, yeah. just in case I've you don't. There's Dead four players trying to avoid a killer, right? The quote-unquote smaller streamer, Napnide, is the killer and he's after Bub and her three friends. He quite literally wiped the floor with them, okay? Damn, <laughs> absolutely skill Absolutely destroyed them. And additionally, they were accusing him of humping them, which is the equivalent of something like teabagging in games like Halo or Call of Duty. It's seen as toxic. Yeah, what, 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 is, what, what even is humping? I've never even heard that terminology. It's like, not just like teabagging or something. Um, Like, right? It's not, it's not, just, it's not, not just like teabagging. I don't know. Note during the incident he had 700 balls. Wow, that, that's like, wow, calm is a fucking bitch. You know, calm is a bitch. Good for him. Good for this guy. So they went to his stream to, I mean, you know, there's no other way to say it, harass him. They started I typing mean, in his chat. She, I mean, that, that other streamer literally said, I'm going to go in his chat and annoy him, which that is harassment. Like that is, that is just harassment. There's no other 
way to describe that, saying that, oh, I'm going to go into this guy's chat and annoy them. That's how you are harassing them. Like They started saying very mean things that we'll get into later. But I mean, honestly, what they just said bullying. on stream was insane. Like the first thing you say is, of course, he's a oh, white yeah, guy. Like, yeah. What? Yeah, this was, ew, of course, said by Antan, oh. who is the other partner oh. streamer in this oh. equation, yeah. along with Beba. So first thing she says is something about his skin color, then says he is privileged oh my just God. from the tone of his voice. Whatever the hell that, that means. That doesn't make any fucking sense either, yeah. It's whatever the hell that What the that fuck does that even mean? Then making fun of his view count, saying that, oh, him seeing two partnered badges in his chat made him too stressed out, it seems. Which is so ironic because that actually sounds like something a privileged person would say, uh, yeah. right? The literally, I mean, it's just like terminally online. It's literally like high school mean girl, like terminally online dumb bullshit. You know, if you walk outside and you go out in the real fucking world, no one gives a fuck that you're partnered on Twitch, okay? Like, get a fucking life. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. I know that you're a streamer, but like, you need to like reevaluate yourself if you're going to go and be I'm partnered on Twitch, so I'm better than you. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, bitch. Whole thing Jesus was that fucking in Christ. very poor taste, and that's not how a partnered streamer should behave at all. It goes against TOS. It should be how Twitch. any streamer not acts. Not only does harassment go against TOS, but also as a streamer, especially a partnered streamer, when you talk badly about another streamer on the platform, you also face special consequences, like maybe a longer ban. So their reasoning was he was being toxic. He was humping them after killing them, which is why they were so mean to him. But Spook and Jukes also included this reply showing that actually this was all fabricated. There was no humping at all. Watch. So here's the killer. Uh huh. And then you do that. And they're saying that what? was humping. What? What was that? What? Okay. What? What? And this is his point of view. This is him. He didn't do anything. He's he like, just, he's just playing the game. She was crawling and he was just trying to pick her up. That's humping. That's like the equivalent of teabagging. In what world? I don't know. So I mean, this... anyway, I mean, even if he did teabag her or whatever or humped her, I don't even think that's even a real defense, right? Like, I don't think that even if he did, quote, hump her, that that's like the right way to respond in any way or justifies the response because it just does not. This leads us back to Babub's tweet, which was her saying, oh, no, 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 what I said was out of context. I'm being harassed. This is a hate campaign against me. By the oh, way, she yes. got community noted if you didn't That's, notice. Uh, Bub the Law was caught on sometimes clips harassing community the other streamer and also using racist remarks of, of course, it's a white man. Linking the clip we saw from Spook and Jukes. I do want to quickly point out that the community note is wrong here. The person who said, of course, it's a white man right. was Antan, right. not Babub, but everything else is correct. Babub then continues, as soon as the game was over, me and my friends moved on, but this person kept talking about me making up things I don't understand. Why am I being punished? I don't know. I don't know if some people will like, I don't know, say this or not, but yes, I like reverse racism can happen. I mean, I think just racism in any context, you know, can happen. It does happen. Um, xenophobia exists, you know, as an Asian person, um, you know, in, in Asian countries. Like, yeah, there is prejudice in, in cases against white people. Like, racism to white people does exist, and sexism can go both ways, okay? If you can be sexist towards a woman, you can be sexist towards men as well. Like, it, it goes both ways, you know, just, 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 just state that and to say that. Wrong. This feels very wrong and unfair to which support. I will be appealing with my point of view tomorrow. Oh, Yet another community note shows up here <laughs> saying, Bob is deliberately lying. <laughs> they were talking about him in the next game as well. That's Linking crazy. the same clip. And I think this is referencing how even after the game ended They're in the still end game him. screen, they were still talking about him. Then Babeb said, person who claims I said the quoted below are not right. What? Certain cited things were never said by any of my what? friends. What? It's recorded! Only he has probably small dick by sitting on a single generator, or that he seems like an asshole, but that is the only things that came it's out of recorded, my mouth. It's recorded, bitch! As you what can the see, <laughs> the accusations here are that she and her friends said all these things. There's a lot of things here that I personally have not heard from the clips that were shared, so some things might be exaggerated, but honestly... That's, this that's true, but I mean, I don't know, because it's like, I don't, I don't know, like, these things are recorded, so it's like, if it's... I... Point. 
They don't have to be exaggerated because what I've heard already... But yeah, but the things that already been said are bad enough. ...is enough to deem her a terrible person. Then she says, I would like to also say that this person... And just so you know, when she says person here, she means the person she harassed. Right. She says, this person kept encouraging their audience to come over to my stream mm. to report me and making mm. allegations that oh, I... But I thought they're such a small streamer with, you know, with no viewers at all. You know, they're such... They, they were such a tiny streamer with only 700 followers. They hardly had any audience because they only had 18 viewers, right? So how on earth could she get harassed or could she get reported he is not even part and he has such a tiny minuscule audience you know like sent ar army from my stream to his chat which is a lie the only people who came to his chat was xim Antan, and then after two it's minutes like, oh, yes now myself. she's the victim Again, now dude, she's the victim like, yes uh you harassed someone you were mean to them Honestly, if he actually told his audience to go report you, he's in the right. Let's just make that one clear. Then she continues, also kind of but funny that this right person suddenly himself. is hiding their VODs private and subs only. Surely they have nothing to hide in this VOD. Why would they make VODs private otherwise? Oh my god. As of August 23rd, they're not. Hers are though. I wonder why. <laughs> one last thing. Though this wrongful ban from that person, I don't support or encourage people in going after the person that got me banned. Yeah, it's upsetting, but I don't want you guys going hunting them down or wish them death threat. This will get resolved. If not, we meet again in seven days. So yeah, the classic don't harass them, guys, even though that's literally even though what, that's you, what did you did on stream. <laughs> this yeah. is so ironic, dude. It's so stupid. And of course, I don't think there's a single reply here that is siding with her. Wait, what is this? Of uh, of course, though, it's the white woman. You're a toxic person, your friends, and going after them, ban, I mean, him, ban, deserved. As a fellow VTuber, I am appalled that you would behave in this manner. It, is it really that hard to just ignore or block the other creator if you don't feel comfortable around them? Or maybe just, I don't know, move on and just play the game. Like, you, you're, you know, you don't have to interact with the other creator, just play the game, right? Like, why harass them publicly when you could have been the bigger person in the situation, especially as a partner? Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's not even about, like, you know, just ignore or, I mean, yeah, just ignore or block them. It's like, you really could just continue, just go to the next game. It's like... And I love when people, like, act like this, and they're like, oh my god, I, oh my god, he is, does, he's not anybody, because he only has 700 followers and 18 viewers. It's like, okay, well then, if they're so small and they're so minuscule, then why are they even worth your time? Like, like that's the crazy part about it, it's like, they act like they're so high and mighty, and so much above him, but then they put so much energy into caring and harassing them, and it's like, if they don't matter to you and they're quote so small and below you, then don't give them the light of day, just ignore them then. It's like, brother. Okay, there's not a single one. Everyone is against her saying, no, we caught you in 4K. There's no way you actually stand by this. Like, actually, crazy. And on the post from the streamer bans account saying that they both got banned, can they not you can see that? your partnered streamer friend, Antan, saying, totally not deserved. One idiot encouraged his viewers to mass report her for a game is such, such a, a joke. <laughs> Again, really not making Wait, it better they, they for literally her took it outside the game. And then added, totally unfair to see Twitch support siding with someone who is oh lying God, about everything oh and still get punished for speaking back. Free my girl, she's all I have. What the all you have? So both down. Antan and Babub were doubling down on this, even though we had clips. Like, we heard everything. Yeah, it's like, it's we recorded. The dude didn't it's do recorded. It's recorded. I don't understand why, like, people do this on Twitch. It's recorded. You're streaming, bitch. It's on a YouTube video. You can't edit it out. It's a fucking stream. Ethan, he's just a smaller streamer who is better than you at a video game. They still were doubling down here. And now everyone caught wind of this, right? Many drama channels were talking about it in VTubing circles. A lot of people were aware of this and they were not going to let them get away with it. As all of this was going on, Napnide, the streamer who was harassed in this situation, posted this statement replying to Babub's initial tweet, saying this. Giving my two notes about this since I am again getting messages, follows, and join requests of your viewers in my server, I just want to be left alone just like I wanted to be left alone then. 
Victimizing yourself and twisting the truth here is not doing any good. At the end of the day, you came to my stream while viewing it in yours when I said uh, good yeah. games, well played, and told that you guys were very good at the game and gave me quite a tough match. Your co-streamers also mentioned that they want to come and annoy me uh, in your yeah, live stream really beforehand. Said that. You quickly joined her in my chat with malicious intents. Your co-streamers mentioned that I should get shot hours after matching what up with me. While what the fuck? Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ. Je what the hell? You hyped her. All this just because you lost in a video game. So I should mention here, I didn't see this clip, but if he's talking about yeah. it, he has no reason to lie. Yeah. Right? That's insane That's fucking to actually crazy. say that over a game Holy on shit. Twitch as a partnered stream. That's fucking oh crazy god. to me. Anyway, he continues. Your point of view and all the stuff I mentioned was sent to Twitch. You cutting these parts out of it and resending them to Twitch doesn't change anything. I would suggest you take the seven day ban and try to remember a good etiquette next time. Yeah, she's fucking stream. lucky it's only seven days. Jesus Christ. I mean, to be fair though, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are, yeah, not gonna really uh, watch her or, or like her, you know, after this, but you know. Without making fun of smaller streamers and their skin color, accent, penis size, how they look, nor come to their chat to shame them for just starting out on Twitch. Do better, all the best. Now. That's a great yes. response. From Feel free to watch my point of view of the match and see for yourself how polite I was during the whole time. It is just a video game. Nothing justifies your behavior here. I can confirm this because I watched Nap's point of view. He was very polite. There was no weird behavior. He's just playing, from him. Man, he just just playing, playing the game, the game yeah. man. But of course, this clip of them saying that he should get, you know, <clears throat> you know, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Normally, I would have actually watched the vods of both Antan and Beba oh, to ew. find that no, clip yeah, don't in sub to them. But ew. they have both set their vods to subscribers only, which means I have to pay money yeah, to watch ugh. them. I am not about yeah, to no, give them fuck a that. fucking dime, bro. There's yeah, no fuck way that. I'm giving them go a sub. So you know go what? Go and sub to my man. You know, fuck them. Go sub to my mans, you know. I'm going to take Nap's word for it. The fact yeah, that they sub said to that Naps. is insane. Additionally, we have a screenshot here that shows us some of the things that Babub said in Nap Knight's chat. Like, for example, sorry, we didn't mean to bring more viewers over. You clearly aren't worth it. <laughs> Become a better person. And you can even see, Jesus I Christ. think, one of Babub's friends, Simco, saying, it's just us three from the game. Nobody else is here indicating that this is a dead stream oh, and that this person ew. shouldn't even be streaming they're a waste of space right the person who tweeted this <laughs> these message <laughs> logs got blocked by antan immediately which should say yeah. a lot i mean it's it's such an out of touch like take it's like uh yeah people start off you know people start from nothing and they build something up that's how you build a platform for yourself like, Jesus Christ, like, how out of touch are you? Everyone's surprise. Streamer Bands did another tweet that said, Twitch partner Beba what? has been unbanned after what two days, Why two hours and 14 what the fuck? minutes. This no, means that the ban Twitch. appeal she had sent Twitch worked out. No, Twitch fuck saw that her shit. as innocent, no, which no. is ridiculous. That's fucking crazy. The entire reply the section fuck? was against this. Some saying fuck? that she should be banned that is, permanently. That is another Twitch L. A very That's a Twitch L. Ill. From Twitch. But Babub was celebrating like oh nothing had happened, hey, trying to move on bye. from this like she was really the victim. Again, her replies painted a very different picture with everyone saying that Twitch really screwed up here and that she shouldn't be they on the did, platform. They did, they did. She streamed a couple of times after being unbanned. And of course, a lot of people were criticizing her in her chat. Uh, yeah, no so shit. eventually on August she made it 15th, only or something? three days after being unbanned, she made this tweet saying, oh, I will be oh, taking she days off. ran away. I am not a drama she frog, but certain people love milking things. Believe wow. what you want to believe. She I couldn't will not take stop the heat. You, but there is always she other side of the coin. The spice. I'm That's sorry crazy. to whoever my actions caused crazy. harm, even though it wasn't meant with hostility. And again, dude, I think this might be the most community noted person I've ever seen Holy in shit. a video of mine. Like, Look, sis, sis. Sis couldn't handle the heat. She brought the heat on and she got out of the fucking kitchen. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's always happens. This always happens. You know, if you're going to talk shit, then you should take the repercussions for your actions. But no, you little bitch, you run away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Another community note says, Bub is trying to downplay her harassment and racist remarks that she and her friend Antan Desu caused towards a smaller streamer due to them losing a match in Dead by Daylight against the other party. Again, linking the clip That's of yeah. them being very <sighs> weird towards Nap Night. 
Babeup then replies to this oh my tweet God. with another bigger statement. This is a Discord post she made in her server saying, I won't tag at everyone if you feel like reading this, go ahead. You may have seen the tweet targeted at my side. It is clear a certain person we won't name is holding strong personal grudge against what? me. <laughs> What? It is really sad to see. Even more sad that a lot I mean, of- I mean, honestly though, I mean, I don't even fucking blame him if he was holding a parcel grudge because you harassed him and told him to, like, get shot. You know, I feel like that's- uh, Honestly, I feel like that's- not. I, I can understand that, to be fair. I Things mean are twisted and clips are taken out of context to make me look the worst. No, nope, uh, they yes, really don't have yes, to be taken right, out of context right, to make not, you look bad. Right. You did it yourself. It's not like it's recorded or anything, but... I'm not saying I'm innocent in the whole matter. Oh. Certain things were said mainly by my friends, and I could have and should have stopped them. Uh, yeah. Certain people in this world are more sensitive to some stuff oh being my said, God. even though they are harmless, but that is what? how things are. Are you crazy? <laughs> Again, she's now tripling down she's on the fact that the... she did nothing wrong. She continues, to be completely honest, I'm not good with these situations. It is not good for anyone's oh my mental. God. I will not be interacting what with about the said the post because harassed? that is pretty much what those people want. I had said my side of the story and out due respect of the other party, I did not ever include any clips to stain their reputation or make it seem like I'm targeting them slash harassing them, even though the evidence is clear in there. <laughs> she has to be schizophrenic at this point, oh right? Oh my like, god, there's no yeah. Way. There's no Delusional, way. She's Jesus doing Christ. this and thinking it's a good idea. What is she talking about? What clips could she possibly find of Nap Night that make him look bad at this situation? There are none. Next thing she says is this. Once more, for the very last time, I never sent anyone to target the said individual. <laughs> oh yeah, see, even though to. your friend <laughs> literally said you that she was going to do it. Yeah. to his chat to target him, as well as your friends, so this doesn't make any sense to include. She continues, however, as of current time, it is clear this person won't stop until I'm stomped completely to the ground, what? and they even went the length to report some of my sub emotes to get them taken down, showing them. I never said go after them, them being nap -nied, because there is nothing I hate more than bullying. <laughs> wow, that's fucking crazy. If you, look, if you are talking negatively about a streamer and then you bring their stream up on the screen, that is very much so insinuating. So like, even if you don't directly say, hey guys, go and harass them, or like, you know, hey guys, let's go and raid their stream, whatever, you know, but, you know, having your friend be like, I'm gonna go and talk in their stream and annoy them, and then, you know, her being like, okay, I'm gonna go and talk to them too, and you bring their stream up on the screen, what do you expect is going to happen? Of course, some of your simps or whatever, some of your viewers are going to go and do the same thing because you saying that you're going to go to their stream is encouraging that behavior and you literally fucking showed their stream on your screen. If you did that, that is of course going to get some of your viewers to go and harass them. Like, it's common sense. It's common sense. It's common sense. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is insane. Um, yeah, she continues. However, as of now, I am the one who is getting attacked and forced to take the blame for everything, oh, even no. things that did oh, not no. come out of my mouth. Poor, Cornered poor and woman. stained and Sage, pointed fingers girl. out. It is so not Sage. very healthy for me to continue streaming with the current situation. Sage, my Sage. content does not resonate around drama, and if you watch me or even tuned in, you are well aware what kind of person oh. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because situation is as it is, I feel I cannot even defend myself because it will just look like I'm making excuses. Well, you are. So I will just disappear if that is what people really want. Okay, good then. If it makes the world better place, then be it. I just really like injustice like this because I that's really so feel wronged. That's Love so crazy that, yo, you talk shit and you run away like a... I'm sorry, okay. Like a... Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Like a little bitch, okay? Honestly. You guys. So look, it's clear English is not a first language. I feel like Google Translate would have done a better job, especially with that last sentence, but she's pretty much saying she hates injustice and she feels oh. wrong. She's being framed. She's oh. being attacked. Oh, she's been attacked no and called a bully when she isn't a bully. She hates bullying. and being a wholesome streamer. And man, a tear is running down my cheek right now. Yeah. But <laughs> this is delusion to the highest level. It's insane. But that delusion 
did not last because oh, no. two days after posting this on August 17th, she came back. She finally oh, came out oh, well, with an wow. apology. Wow, okay, she finally apologized. With a thousand Jesus. replies. Oh yeah, shit! Of wow, course, this is controversial. Damn. Here's what she had More to say. More replies than I want to start off by sincerely apologizing to Nap Night. Wow, took you a while. Okay, wow. <laughs> finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> As Jesus. a streamer and the one broadcasting the content, I'm responsible for the guest I invite to my broadcast, and of course for the way I react to what is being said. Be it idle, going along with it as we're in this case or taking appropriate measures to prevent or stop the harmful situation what? which was the right it's not like you didn't say anything take, either but did not the insult i referred to you as was uncalled for and in the heat of the moment of the accumulated frustration from previous matches that i ended up wrongly taking out on you as a partnered streamer i meant to help support and encourage other creators and be someone yes. they can look yes but probably that's to, not what you're like to be in control of my emotions like you're I, you're like it shows the real you like you're fake you're fake like upon them however i was far from being such a person and i am ashamed of it in my content, I have always put emphasis on creating a safe space and being a comfort zone to others, which is definitely not what I displayed there. I have let all of you down by avoiding the importance of the matter and the immoral behavior I showed in the recent days. Every time I find a new game to stream, I get very passionate about it. Dead by Daylight is a hidden gem I discovered a is few months back. Is it a hidden back. gem? It is a game I'm very fond of playing and I like to get better at it. The way I reacted to the situation with lack of sportsmanship and wrongful conduct takes the joy away from the game uh, to yeah, others. Yes, that's just I would true. like to apologize to my community and my supporters. I'm thankful to the people who oh see the God. good in me through this mistake. And then she ends it by saying, it is now clear to me that the harsh statements that were said were hurtful and not deserved towards him. In the past days, I have been going through comments, messages, as well as the video focusing on what happened with other points of view. What was done is wrong. I was wrong, and I fear that I have become someone that does not match the standards I believe should be upheld. I'm sorry to you, Nap Knight, and everyone I let down. I believe the best step for me to take right now is to reflect okay. on my own actions and behavior and return once I see myself being who I once was, before I lost my way, and only once I am able to stand with the values that I believe in, sincerely, but Honestly, it's not the worst apology that I've heard, but the main issue with this apology is because she obviously doubled down and doesn't, I don't know if this is a genuine apology or it probably does not feel genuine because this is not like, this wasn't her first response. Her first response was to say that he was harassing her and being the victim. And then in a few days, you turn around and now you're the one in the wrong. You know, that like, you know what I mean? Like that mental just 360 does not give me hope in the sense of is this genuine is this genuinely what you think? Or are you just apologizing based off of the public pressure because you didn't get your way and you didn't expect things to go so south? in people siding with nap and cancelling you because this is the thing if let's just say in a, another timeline where she you know said what she said originally and people sided with her and she didn't suffer the backlash would she have posted this apology no she fucking wouldn't have this is because she was pressured by Twitter by the, you know, the backlash to post this. And that's why even if this apology isn't that bad of an apology, it's it doesn't really feel genuine at all because, you know, your original response was to double down and fight back and say, I'm the victim and Nap, quote, you know, humped me or whatever, you know, so it does not feel genuine at all. So yeah, I'd say this is a standard apology, but it definitely came way too late, and only after she had not just doubled down, but tripled yeah, that's down why the makes fact it that she had done nothing wrong, or feel making it very controversial. Yeah. This is why it doesn't really appear sincere, yeah. it appears to have been yeah. made out of obligation rather than sincerity. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the same opinion of mine reflected in many of the replies, right? With some people saying that, oh, personally, if it was up to me, I'd unpartner you immediately from Twitch. Down. Some funny comments like, this 
this is a safe space for everyone to feel comfortable. Five minutes later, oh, of course it's a white man. Yeah, uh, yeah crazy. <laughs> She's not about to get away with this, and a lot of people are going to hold her accountable even after they this should. apology. They should. But of course, there was another elephant in the room. People were also holding uh, Aunt Yeah, Tammy she should be held accountable too. In this equation, and the person who had made the whole white man privileged comment. She was blocking pretty much anyone oh who had something to say. Oh, about yeah, her that's the way to Beba. deal with it. Something substantial because compared to Babeb's 10,000 followers on Twitter, she had way more presence Whoa. on this platform. She had, 38, she had followers. actually that's, posted her apology on August that, 6th. That's pretty big. Like, you know, for, as a, a indie, I'm, I'm assuming she's an indie VTuber. As a as an indie VTuber, that's that's a lot of followers. That's a big presence. It is. 16th, 2024, one day before Babub's apology. But the reason why I left this till the end is because it got community noted. Oh no. <laughs> it wow. Is a very controversial apology. That's so crazy. let's read it. Okay. Make up your opinion. I feel like on when it. your when your apology has been community noted, that's like, oh shit. Ooh. 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 And then let's look at the community note as well as the uh <laughs> Almost 1,000 replies to this post. Oh, All right, let's do it. The post starts off in French, saying, French. Bonjour tout le monde. Je demandais l'aide d'un ami pour m'aider à vous écrire aujourd'hui et j'espère qu'un jour vous me pardonnerez. So in English, this means, hey everyone, I asked a friend to help me write this today and I hope that one day you'll be able to forgive me. Then the rest is in English and she says, as I've been sick for the past week and just have been released from the hospital, today I find I have to speak of these events publicly. That's a very interesting way to start your statement. Yeah. Guys, if you've been on the internet long enough, you know that when someone starts off their apology with a pity party, hey, it's going to be yeah, real juicy. Yeah, You're yeah. just fishing for sympathy. Yeah. This isn't about you. This is about yeah, your Yeah, it's not really necessary. Yeah. Then she says, I'm not here to defend myself because we all act a certain way when our past trauma is triggered. What? Oh my what? God. But I don't want my poor huh? health and past trauma to be an excuse. Uh-huh. That's why you mentioned it. I want it to be a way for me to keep growing in the best version of myself what? that I always strive for. I want to say first and foremost, I'm sorry to my community and I'm thankful and grateful to the people that are aware of who I am as a what? person what? and know that a little misunderstanding what? doesn't define me or make what? me a bad person. What? I made a mistake which made me only human. What? I'm really not that great at talking or fighting in general. What? It's not something I do by nature only if I had no choice but to defend myself. <laughs> what? Dead by Daylight is very much outside my comfort zone as a game and then being new to it, it I wasn't aware of a lot. I come from a different culture. I grew up speaking French and Arabic and as an African oh my I have God. dealt with all sorts oh of racism. Oh my God. Oh here we go. Oh my go. God. Oh the my shame God. and the- It doesn't excuse yourself. Like, like I don't understand it. Okay. Like if, if you are somebody that has faced racism yourself and I've been through that yourself. That should be way more of a reason why not to do that to other people and not to want to cause pain to others. Now, I, I do understand to a certain extent, you know, being a minority and, you know, I, I know there's people in communities, you know, in minorities, you know, who, who talk about, you know, are people who are, quote, privileged, right? But... That's not an excuse, even if people are, quote, privileged, if they're white, if they're a man, to then be sexist or racist or hateful or bully towards them as well. Because you are putting that same person, you know, um, you're putting that same individual in, you know, you're making them feel the same way that you felt, you know, it's, it's the equivalent of like, you know, say, okay, I was bullied in high school, does it make it okay for me to bully other people as well, because I have trauma from being bullied? No, I, m me as an Asian person have suffered racism myself, and I have trauma based off of you know, people being racist towards me, but that doesn't make it okay for me to go to anybody and be racist or sexist or hateful towards them based off of my traumatic past experiences. That does not justify that behavior. It does not make it okay. It's not right. And, and I think that honestly, 
those, quote, past traumas, if they are about racism and facing racism, I think that should be more of a reason for you not to treat others like this. Anger I felt finding out I was using a derogatory slur was beyond me. I'm truly what? sorry as for the whole entire time I never thought it meant more than what it is a description or a person with lighter skin tones. I'm so very sorry for this. Yeah, dude, it's just a description. You know, like if I open a stream right now and I'm like, ugh, of course it's a black guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gee, oh my god. Like, dude, I, I'm sorry. I just thought I was describing his skin tone. Yeah, That's yeah. it. I'm just describing the person. You know, it's, wow. It, it sounded like I was disgusted. No way. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. I'm sorry, God, I wasn't aware. Jesus Christ. She continues. In French, it has a more playful tone. What? Un blondinet riche. Blondinet is literally just a boy or a girl with blonde hair. That's it. The second word she was describing, riche, just simply means rich. This, is, this doesn't even make any sense because it's like, okay, your tone of voice transcends language in the sense of the way that you deliver what you are saying and the tone of what you are saying it in and the way that she said it regardless of if it's in french or if it's in english her tone of voice was definitely not playful and that has nothing to do with the language barrier it's about, you know, the, the, the attitude and the way that you went about saying it in your tone of voice. And in the tone of voice that she said it in, definitely gave a malicious, hateful indirendo to what she was saying. And that has nothing to do with the language barrier. Regardless of whether it's a French expression, I can't confirm or deny, guys, I'm not French, I just live in the country. Uh... There was an undeniable tone of disgust when yes, she said Yeah, it's the, uh, of it's the she's tone, it's the so way she said it. So expression is meant to be playful, when you say it with disgust, of yeah. course, all of a sudden, it becomes racist. I mean, I think that's just common sense. She says, this is why I wasn't understanding my wrongdoing about it. You know, it. it's, like, you know it's, like, it's like, I'm like, oh, uh, he's a white guy. And I'm like, oh, he's a white guy. You know, it's like, obviously, there's like, there's a difference there. You know, it's like, oh, uh, he's a white I mean, I don't even know, like... I mean, I don't even people really even know like what in like a playful mind you can say. I guess it, what if you're trying to say is a joke. I don't know. It's like oh, like oh, he's a white guy. Like oh, you know. It's like I guess in a joke, maybe in a joking manner. I don't know. But then it's like the way that she's like ah, oh, oh, he's a white guy. Oh, you know. It's like no. It's I don't like, think oh, I will I ever know. apologize enough for it. But I can assure you, it won't ever be a part of my vocabulary as I do not condone nor support racism. I mean, she still said, oh, he's, he's a privileged white guy. He's so privileged. So yeah. I don't believe this, personally. I, don't, I yeah, really I don't. don't. I, I don't, just believe I don't. that. I don't. She never thought it was racist. She I still don't. doesn't think it's racist. No. But only because people pointed it out, she's apologizing for it. She then continues. Now to the point of discussing his numbers. This one was very low of me, and I don't even know how it actually came out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm just ashamed. Not because people found out, but because I felt bad for even saying that. <laughs> okay, well, good. Which is why I, I attempted to contact the person in question and apologize. Okay, hopefully she actually did apologize no to, to him. Reach them, I hope that this amazing community will oh. deliver my message. So, okay, here's the funny thing. What? In Napnide's reply, right, his initial reply to Beba, someone asked this after Antan's apology on August 16th, linking her post and asking, did she really try to reach out to you to apologize? That's a good question. And then Nap Knight said, hi, not really, <clears throat> has had me blocked ever since I answered her tweet. <clears throat> so I guess he's referencing- So she, she did not make, an, so she did not make a, a clear effort to actually talk to him. This right here. And I'm pretty sure this person asking this question actually got blocked by Antan because you're unable to view the post they quote tweeted. <laughs> She has just been blocking everyone. Anyway, she then continues. Napnide, after rewatching your VODs, I realized you shared deep horrible. pain that only someone with the same deep it's cut horrible. could understand. It made me feel angry at first because I didn't understand it, but now I can see your pain. What? Your past doesn't define what? you. I'm sorry what? I wasn't a better encounter to you. What? A new friendship what? or just a new gaming buddy. Instead, I was a bully, what? which is unacceptable. What? And that's why I apologize and what? hope nothing but the best what? for you. What? I'm so very what? sorry for my actions that were a one-time thing. I can assure you, just like you've never heard of me, 
me before, you won't ever hear from me again. So yeah, this post comes off as very insincere. Yeah, but oh, what, what the help fuck was is that? The uh. Absolutely cooking Antan to ashes. It says, someone that is genuinely sorry wouldn't be reveling in their acts while diminishing and blocking That's crazy. People. After it became this quite the problem, co the apology this was these, released. These community also, to justify are racism cooking because them. one Holy shit. It is not okay. End the yeah, so yeah. Yeah, ba yeah, basically, yeah, justify racism because one experience is not okay. Yes, yeah, 100%. And, like, within every anything, it's not about racism as anything. If you, like, you know, if, if somebody's hurted you, it's not a justification for you then to go and hurt others. Like, it's not in any way. I, I can understand, obviously, I, I'm sorry that that happened to you, of course, but that's not a justification you to harm or hurt others and it's nothing to do even with like just race with anything you know if like i said before if i was bullied in you know say if i was bullied in primary school it, that does not make it okay for me to then go and become a bully in high school and then hurt others because i was hurt you know in primary school you know or middle school or whatever that, that's not a justification doesn't make it okay you know um, if I don't, and it would say, okay, I was mistreated by a girlfriend or a boyfriend. It does not make it okay because I was mistreated to then go and mistreat my new boyfriend or my new girlfriend or whatever. That's not a justification. That's not okay. Cycle of violence. Linking this tweet right here which showed what she said to the streamer ban message saying that Baybub got banned. And interestingly enough, the person who posted this image on August 16th, the day Antan apologized, got blocked by Antan. That's crazy. That's fucking <laughs> Simply crazy. Simply just having a different opinion. So uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone under Jesus Christ. believes this. And we see Spook and Jukes here yet again saying this, while some of this apology does appear genuine, the part where you say a little misunderstanding yeah, that's doesn't crazy. define me is what I'm having trouble with. Yeah. How is this a misunderstanding? Yeah, you harass someone and shame them for their viewer slash appearance. There's no misunderstanding. And yeah, some others also point out the fact that half or more of this was just her talking about herself. Yeah, and literally. Her trauma. Yeah. That's not gonna work. The consequences of all this were catastrophic to both Baybub wow. and Anton. That's crazy. Anton hasn't streamed in 11 days and Baybub hasn't streamed in 7 days. It doesn't seem like they'll really be able to recover their careers and public image. I think they might come back maybe in a couple more weeks or a month. But Yeah, um, as, this is the thing. I think they will come back. This is this is what happens all the time when you know um creators get cancelled for quote being bad people or doing bad things. They sort of just it, it's it's like what car what happened with Kage, you know, he's come back. You know, it's it's letting the the wind blow, the the dust settle, because the thing is on the internet, things do get forgiven in the sense of things do get moved on from. Like, am I going to really remember who Baybub is? in like two months or three months, probably not. I'm probably not going to remember about the situation that much or care. And that's essentially the thing, right? Um, That's how things sort of do get moved on from. Of course, when it comes to being able to collaborate with others or even just participate in the broader community, they'll definitely have a very hard time making any new friends from mm -hmm. now on, that's for sure. On the other end of the spectrum, though, Nap Knight is sitting at Yay! almost 9,000 followers. Go. That's and so hopefully, after this video comes out, maybe he can reach 10,000 followers. It's a huge follower gain because when they bullied him, he had 700 followers. He has gained over 8,000 and he keeps gaining every... It is nice to see in some situations, you know, um, where, you know, good people and justice is served, where we can actually, you know, the internet come together and actually help somebody who you know was bullied or was a victim or something and have it you know um have there be like a light at the end of the tunnel because he deserves all the love single day very well deserved <laughs> and hopefully one day he'll have more followers than those yeah two that would be amazing so that they can't even bully him about that or anymore. he gets now, these are my favorite stories guys clear villains a victim and a happy ending for the victim a very bad ending and, for and, the and also you know this guy is like, a, he's just, like, a nice dude. Like, this is really the guy that should be, like, one of the people that are representing, like, the 
um, the day by daylight community, you know, the day, wait, day by daylight. So dead by daylight. So I shows I don't play the game, but you know, like he seems like a nice guy. Isn't that wonderful? You know, you get a story like this every once in a while. And of course, when I see it, I'll make a video about it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good laugh or <laughs> were just entertained by this. Uh, I also stream on Twitch, Mujin Official. Come by and say hi. We have a great time and I will see you. In but, um, okay. So yeah, that was a, oh, that was an interesting, uh, situation, but, um, oh, wait, oh, they have, oh, they have, they look, their Twitch. That's nice of him to do. Wait, is he, wait, oh no, it's Mujin's Twitch. Oh wait, what did he link? Did he link the guy? No. I guess I can just, I guess I can just search it though. Um, let's, let's see how much followers he's on now then. I'm gonna, let's see. Mm. Oh shit, oops. I actually, okay, I actually closed my... I, I, I actually pressed the button to close my tabs. Okay, well, whatever. Um, So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please you continue the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think of the situation. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye.